Hey guys, welcome back to my videos. It is me, Lily, here with another tarot reading. Yesterday I did Libra, okay? So I did all the zodiac signs prior to Libra, and now I am going to Scorpio. So this is a Scorpio reading. I'm doing career and finances, singles reading, and a love reading as well, okay? So, and a little bit of Oracle messages in between so please stay tuned please like please comment down below please subscribe um if you'd like to see anything with scorpio moving forward because um what i intend to do is like i might focus in on more signs depending on zodiac signs whatever zodiac sign gives me more compliments or more likes more you know views then i'm gonna more likely spend more most of my attention on those signs than other signs because it does take a lot of work reading and providing extra additional messages so please comment down below if you would like to see more scorpio readings and love and finance and all that kind of stuff okay so let's get this video started before it gets too long okay all right so right now let's do an oracle message for you guys for scorpios Spirit, speak to me about the zodiac sign. I have my crystal and I have my light, my light, my candle, the background, and a light. Spirit, speak to me about Scorpios. Spirit, speak to me about Scorpios. What is it that they need to know at this time in regards to love and any other situation going on for Scorpios at this time? Spirit, speak to me about Scorpio. What is it that they need to know at this time? Spirit, speak to me about the zodiac sign of Scorpio. What is it that they need to know at this time? Speak to me about the zodiac sign of Scorpio. What is it that they need to know at this time, Spirit? All right, Scorpio, Scorpio. What is it that they need to know at this time? Scorpio, what is it that they need to know at this time? Scorpio, what is it that they need to know at this time, Spirit? Ooh, came out, okay. Scorpio, what is it that they need to know at this time? Scorpio, what is it that they need to know at this time? Okay, I wanted to get one of the romance cards, but maybe there's no romance. Well, there is romance all the time, but it didn't want to come out today. So who can I serve today? It's a soul truth message, okay? Who can I serve today? This is a general reading. Whoever's watching cross watchers you're also invited to watch this scorpio reading there's messages in here for you too so who can i serve today in a world lacking soul to soul connection small and simple acts are what create bit create the biggest and most lasting impact we shift our own pain and experience and avalanche of love when we lose ourselves in the service of others who needs help today so today is telling you to spread more love and expect nothing in return. Notice the joy that you feel when you serve others. Okay, so being, you know, um, non-self, don't be selfish, help somebody who's in need, even if it's like a neighbor or, you know, somebody that you come across on the street who might need help with their bags or something like that, an elderly person, help. You know, I know we all have, a, we're crunched for time, but you know, sometimes that little added two, five minutes that we spend on somebody else is is the most important part of our day. So that is what it's encouraging you to do. Am I getting enough rest to restore my energy and fully show up to my life? Okay, you are the asset. The bo This body is your vehicle. Notice how your body is feeling, how much sleep you are getting, and what you can do to help your body rest. So today it's saying to um, take a bath, put some lavender essential oil into your bath, possibly, right? Go to bed ridiculously early or give yourself enough time today to rest, okay? Your body will thank you for that, okay? So some of you are working hard, like I said in your other readings. You guys work hard, play hard too, but you know, you have to find time for rest in between. So let's do career and finances first. I'm going to do the general standard tarot deck for the career and finances. Okay. Career and finances for Scorpios, spirit. Career and finances for Scorpios. What is it that they need to know? Career and finances for Scorpios. What is it that they need to know? Career and finances for Scorpios. What is it that they need to know at this time in regards to their career and finances? Okay. 
Career and finances for Scorpio. Okay. Woo. Career and finances for Scorpio, spirit. Career and finances for Scorpio. Career and finances for Scorpio, spirit. Career and finances for Scorpio. Okay. Okay. So automatically what I am seeing is that there might be a new opportunity, okay? Maybe some of you are seeking a new job opportunity at this time with this Page of Pentacles. You've been putting out your resume. You've been asking friends. You've been networking about other jobs that you could possibly do for a field that you're very interested in with this Page of Pentacles, okay? So you're doing all the right steps. You're putting out applications. You're making it known that you need a job. And maybe there's a potential job offer on the table now, right? With this Page of Pentacles. Or you might have to start doing an interview soon. Okay, this is the Seven of Pentacles. So this is trying to figure out your long-term planning, the long-term view um, of what you expect to attain within this job, right? Um, what are you going to do? How are you going to get back on your feet? Maybe you guys experience a financial loss because you were probably without a job for a period of time. And maybe your finances, especially moving into a new year, has been a struggle. So right now you're trying to figure out how you're going to invest your money, how you're going to invest with this new job, how you're going to save. Like I always say, try to put aside a little bit of money. Every paycheck you get, a little bit goes a long way. Um, how are how am I going to make sure I'm stable moving forward? Okay, so this is a card for stability, long-term views, figuring out what to do as, you know after something happens, usually, sometimes. Sometimes it was a tower moment. Like I said, maybe somebody lost a job in this situation and they're now trying to figure out how to reinvest in themselves okay so um and the page of pentacles speaks of opportunities like i said but it's also a communication card as well so there might be a lot of communication in regards to a job coming in at this time and then we have the queen of swords and the king of swords air energy okay so basically um it's saying that my vibe automatically instant is an interview. Interview, right? You're going to be called in for an interview with the big boss, the king of swords. And you, here, right? It's like you're sitting across from them or a virtual meeting, a Zoom meeting um, interview. And you're going to have to speak your truth, right? They're calling you to speak. This is the energy. They're friendly. The, the boss who's interviewing you or your potential boss moving forward, they're very uh, much able to um, communicate, right? They have the ability to communicate, but they're going to be very clear and concise about what they want and what their expectations are moving forward with this job opportunity, okay? So um, this is strong energy for like an interview that you might possibly be having very soon. Um, your boss being, you know, very stern, but also open to communication if there is something that you really need to talk about. Um, so that's the vibe I'm picking up on. And this is speaking also of a new opportunity with this Ace of Pentacles coming in. So for a lot of you, you guys are receiving a new job financial opportunity that could definitely grow you in some way, whether it's within your current job or a new job that you're seeking at this time, okay? A new opportunity with this Ace of Pentacles is being handed to you, okay? So that's what I'm getting for Scorpios in regards to their career and finances. I hope this helps. And if this applies to anybody's situation at this time, please let me know. I am, I really want to know about these things. I really like to know if this resonates with anyone, you know? It's awesome to see in the comments. Some of you do comment and I really do appreciate it. Blessings to you guys. I really do appreciate it. Continue to comment because I would like to know what's going on. All right, so let's do a love reading for you Scorpios. Scorpio singles, okay? What's going on for Scorpio singles? Let me pause the video and come back. Okay, so this is the love portion of the reading for Scorpio singles. What's coming your way in love for Scorpio singles? What is coming your way in love for Scorpio singles? What will this person be like? What is coming your way in love for Scorpio singles? What will this person be like? What actions will they take towards you? Scorpio singles, what will this person be like? And what actions will they take towards you in the future? Okay, let me take off my ring. 
It's falling off. All right, Scorpio singles. What is it that they need to know? Scorpio single spirit. Okay. We have the seven of pentacles, earth energy. Scorpio singles. What is it that they need to know? We got seven of pentacles once again. We got for career and for love. Okay. And then we have the nine of pentacles, which speaks of single singlehood, right? Being a single person. The nine of pentacles, another earth energy, Taurus card predominantly. And then we have the page of wands. Ooh, somebody's in pursuit. Someone's in pursuit. Okay. Um, Scorpio's singles. Scorpio singles. What is it that they need to know in regards to love? Scorpio singles. What is it that they need to know in regards to love? Okay, we have the four of pentacles. And then we have the worlds, okay? So basically what I'm seeing is some of you possibly recently, right, got out of a relationship. Maybe it wasn't that recent, but um, you're trying to get back into the dating scene with the Seven of Pentacles energy, right? You're trying to figure out how to invest in a new beginning with the Seven of Pentacles energy, Earth energy. Once I, Like I said before, you might be even talking to an earth sign at this time, right? And right now you're single, you're focusing on your career, your money, your finances at this time. That's something that's very important to you. Your stability is the main importance at this time, whether it's with someone else or with yourself. You're gonna provide for yourself nonetheless, okay? That's big Scorpio energy right here, even though it's not a Scorpio card, okay? It's an earth sign card. All right, and then we have a page of wands, which speaks of good news, right? Somebody who's flirty, somebody who might be a potential love interest that might be wanting to talk, trying to get to know you better. This page of wands is what I'm feeling, right? A fire sign card, um, possible fire sign that might be interested in you at this time and wants to speak, wants to get to know you better is the vibe I'm picking up on. For some of you with this four pet four of pentacles and yeah this four of pentacles card you might be a little reserved at this time you might be a little bit shy about this dating scene thing because or you know new dating prospects because or romantic prospects in general because you might feel like uh i've been through so much disappointment in my last relationship that i just kind of don't know if i really want to entertain certain people at this time but I guess if they do have something that is good that they could offer me as far as stability goes, then maybe I might entertain them. Possibly. You might, you're open. Some of you are open to new romantic prospects at this time for you single Scorpios. Okay, the world. Okay, so this could speak of traveling, okay? This could be speaking of traveling or a cycle that recently ended in regards to a love situation, right? World speaks of a lot of different things. It could speak of accomplishments, something ending, a cycle ending. It could speak of travel. It could speak of a long distance relationship. So maybe some of you might be dealing with someone who's long distance, somebody you possibly met on the internet as well. Um, this speaks of that as well. So let's see. And then we have the Page of Pentacles. So there's definitely somebody who's interested, who wants to learn more about you with this Page of Pentacles energy. Strong earth energy here um, and fire energy as well, but mainly earth. And they really want to get to know you. They want to talk. They want to gain more clarity about how you're feeling, your perspective on things. And they want to pick your brain is what I'm getting. They want to pick your brain and want to get to know what's what you're all about. All right. So Scorpios, singles. What is the Seven of Pentacles for Scorpio singles? What is the Seven of Pentacles for Scorpios who are single? What is the Seven of Pentacles for the Scorpios who are single? Okay, let's take these cards. All right, we have Empress. Okay, so you're trying to figure out how to invest in your glow up. You're already glowing. You're the Empress. The Empress is the queen of all queens. But it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, right? This speaks of, even if you're a man, you're like the emperor, basically, okay? This is the counterpart to the empress. You're glowing. You're the queen of all queens, this emperor energy. You have your own vibe. You're stable. You have this nine of pentacles energy. You're doing it all good, all on your own. You don't really need nobody, but you want someone. You do. You do. Everybody needs a little love, okay? We all need love. And we have you looking here with this three of wands, fire energy. 
looking at future potentials, the long-term goals, all right? You, Scorpios, whoever is watching this video is looking not for a fling. You're looking for long-term stability, okay? With all this earth energy, is looking, it's talking about stability. It's not talking about a lot of passion and stuff like that. We have the page of wands, but yeah, you're looking for passion, of course. You guys are Scorpios, okay? We all know what Scorpios are known for, okay? Um, but you're looking into long-term stability with this three of wands energy, and then Seven of Swords. Maybe some of you experienced some betrayal in your past, right? Um, something happened that was found out. You, there was some kind of deception or betrayal that you recently experienced. You found out something, all right? Um, and it caused you to go into a state where you felt like you needed to heal during this time. That's why you're probably not dating currently or actively dating, I should say. Um, so... Take it for where it is, okay? But maybe some of you experienced some deception in your pre previous relationship or in some relationship in your past, and it's kind of making you feel a little bit closed off with this Four of Pentacles, okay? Feeling like in a state of solitude. So let's clarify the Page of Wands. What is the Page of Wands for Scorpio singles? What is the Page of Wands for Scorpio singles, spirit? Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. So we have the Ten of Cups. We have Temperance. And we have the Four of Cups. Oh, this is beautiful energy. It gave me good vibes. So some of you are thinking about the long term, like I said, the future. Speaking of a happy life, happy family, stability, love, support, you know, just like good emotions, good feelings, good vibes, happiness. Um, temperance speaks of balance, healing, um, being balanced, healing, being patient. This is a Sagittarius card and this is the four of cups. Okay. Feeling dissatisfied, feeling like you missed out on an opportunity possibly, or just speaking of a level of like boredom or not, like I said, not really interested so much in the dating scene at this time. Okay. But just know with this temperance guys, that something beautiful is coming in. Slowly but surely, if you manifest and stop feeling down about yourself with this person, whoever this energy is, stop feeling down about your situation and know that there is love. There's good quality love out there. There's someone who might be seeking your attention at this time that you may not even be seeing because you're so focused on other things at this time. Maybe your growth and stability with the sign of pentacles, but there's an offer coming in and it's going to be a good offer with this temperance. I'm feeling good vibes about this. And this is going to lead to long-term stability with this 10 of cups. It's going to make you feel very happy and content. Okay. So that's for some of you. Now of you are going to have this dream story, right? But um, it's going to lead to something great. Okay. Yeah, some of you have been going through um, a huge burden with your last situation. I'm strongly feeling your last situation or somebody that you were deeply connected to caused you a lot of burdens, emotional burdens, making you feel like not good about yourself with this Four of Pentacles energy. But know that there is, once you heal, once you heal, there is something beautiful, happiness coming in, stability, someone who meets you eye to eye and understands you. It's coming. Okay, Scorpios? You might be in a love relationship right now, but it's good vibes. I feel good energy about it. Okay, so continue to work on it and continue to um, invest in yourself as well. You need to be independent and um, make sure that you're good on your own. Practice self-care like this card says. How to restore your energy, get enough rest. That's a self-care card. Pour into yourself and also pour into your relationship at this time. Okay, for those who are, if this happens to be a love situation already, like you're dating someone. Okay, so that's for Scorpio who are single. Okay, and then I'm going to do the Dark Souls of, Dark Confessions of the Soul after. Spirit, please speak to me about Scorpios who are in a love situation at this time. Spirit, please speak to me about Scorpios who are in a love situation at this time. Spirit, please speak to me about Scorpios who are in a love situation at this time. Spirit, speak, please speak to me about Scorpios who are in a love situation at this time. Scorpios in a love situation at this time, Spirit. What is it that they need to know? 
Spirit, please speak to me about Scorpios in a love situation at this time. What is it that they need to know? Ooh, your cards are popping out. Spirit, speak to me about Scorpios in a love situation at this time. What is it that they need to know? Oh my gosh, there's a lot of, like, somebody needs to talk. That's what I'm getting. Someone needs to talk. Um, and then there's some, yeah, there's definitely something that happened, for sure. Ten of, ten of swords. Ooh, strong energy. Okay, one more time. Let's see. Scorpios in a love situation. What is it that they need to know? Scorpios in a love situation. What is it that they need to know? Page of Wands again. Scorpios in a love situation. What is it that they need to know? We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Judgment card. And we have the Chariot. Okay. Ooh, that energy was tense. A lot of residual energy from your past relationship, it seems. Okay, so something came to end with the world card, okay? That was the first card out the deck. A cycle ended, something ended, which caused somebody to be at, at or maybe both of you, to be at a standstill at this time. So a pause. Maybe there's a pause in a relationship or a love situation at this time. Somebody needs some time to figure out what their next move is. Um, This is speaking of defeat. Somebody's feeling very defeated in this situation. I don't know if you guys recently just got into a disagreement over something which caused somebody to feel or both of you to feel defeated at this time. But somebody wants to bring back the romance with this page of wands energy. They want to get back into your good graces. They want to communicate with you openly. They want to cheer you up. They possibly want to take you out on, on a date to kind of like make amends with you. Okay? That's the energy I'm picking up on. And then we have the king of pentacles. Like I said in the singles reading, you guys are very much focused on your girlfriend's stability at this time with this king of pentacles. And their, the, your counterpart is also focusing on their girlfriend's stability and how they could provide stability moving forward. We'll get some more clarity on some of these cards, okay? But with the world, underneath the world is the judgment, which I want to clarify. There's a decision that has to be made at this time. Whatever that may be in your situation, there's a decision for you, Scorpios, in a relationship or in a situationship that needs to be made at this time. Or somebody's thinking of something along that lines, okay? In regards to your love situation. And then we have a chariot underneath the hangman. So it looks like somebody's thinking of moving forward, right? Um, they're surrendering to the situation with the hangman and they're trying to move forward. Maybe you guys, it's, it's feeling like there was like an argument or some kind of disagreement which caused you to kind of go within. Um, so maybe the energy for today, there was some kind of discord between you guys. So let's see what this world, what the judgment is about. Why is the world in the judgment here for Scorpios in love? Why is the world in judgment here for Scorpios in a love situation? Why is the world in judgment here for Scorpios in a love situation, Spirit? Why is the world and the judgment here for Scorpios and love situation at this time? Okay, we have the tower, you see? Yeah, something definitely happened. Okay, there was a tower that happened. Okay, so let's clarify the tower. What is this tower, what is this tower for? Um, and then we have the eight of wands at the bottom. Fire energy, chariot, speaks of moving forward. Eight of Wands is a communi communication card, but it also speaks of forward movement as well. So somebody's on their way to, they're making a decision to exit this relationship. Or that's what they're thinking at this current time. For some of you Scorpios, please take what applies and discard what doesn't. Please. Alright, so what is this tower about for Scorpios in a love situation? What is this tower about for Scorpios in a love situation? Yeah, okay. So, yeah, there is somebody who still is emotionally invested with this Knight of Cups energy, right? They still have a lot of love for you. They want to um, talk, like I said, with the Page of Wands. They want to extend like a date or some kind of romantic opportunity between you two for, um, or maybe you decided to, maybe there was a third party in this situation and there's a new person now involved in some of your lives with this Knight of Cups energy. Because Knight of Cups are typically like, you know, new energies that you're um, embarking on, right? A new person, possibly. 
Um, so this is speaking of romantic offers, different romantic opportunities coming in. Somebody's feeling single right now. So maybe you guys disconnected. Maybe you're in a process of disconnecting. Maybe it's a divorce or something of that nature. And the energy is still much, very much present in the reading. Um, so there's this Knight of Cups here and we have the Nine of Pentacles. So let's clarify. Let's see what this Ten of Swords was about. What is the Ten of Swords for Scorpios in a love situation? What is this Ten of Swords for Scorpios in a love situation? What is this Ten of Swords for Scorpios in a love situation, Spirit? What is this Ten of Swords for Scorpios in a love situation? Okay. King of Wands. Somebody was very passionate. There looks like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, strong passion here. Tell me more about this um, King of... Tell me more about the King of Wands. Tell me more about this King of Wands for Scorpio. Someone's very highly desired at this time in this situation. Very highly desired. Okay, we have four cards. Okay, so six of wands. Speaking of victory, a fire sign card. Okay. Um, this is the single person. This is someone who's disconnecting from the relationship. Five of swords. Okay, so... This is after a period of a betrayal or feeling defeated with this five of swords energy, air energy. You might be dealing with an air sign. Um, we have the moon. There's a lot of uncertainties that you're not sure of what's going on. Insecurities. You know, let's clarify the moon. You guys are going to get a comprehensive reading today because this seems like very intricate. Eight of pentacles. Somebody in this situation is still invested. This is what I'm strongly getting. This Knight of Cups energy is still with the Eight of Pentacles trying to work on this situation with you. But one of you looks like you're stepping into your victory, your power at this time with the Nine of Pentacles. And you're not really too much interested in the past. You see how she's just kind of like, there's a lot of stuff going on behind her, but she's focused. She's on her path, doing her thing, making it brain in a good way. She's focusing on her Pentacles. She's focusing on her looks and her um, overall appearance at this time as well. This is the Eight of Cups. Somebody's walking away from disappointment. So someone's definitely walking away from this situation. And this could also possibly be speaking of a third-party energy, which caused this tower moments. Because there's a lot of kings and knights here, and I don't know if they're all the same energy. So it could be speaking of a third-party energy, possibly, with this moon. We don't know what's going on. So we're going to clarify with the Dark Confessions of the Soul. What is the moon for Scorpios in a love situation? What is the moon for Scorpios in a love situation at this time? Okay. We have the nine of wands. And we have the page of pentacles. Yeah, this is strong energy. Someone's feeling like a wounded warrior in this situation. They're playing. I'm not saying they're playing victim. They feeling, they're feeling like the victim, okay? Some people do play victim, but this person's feeling, I'm feeling like this person feels defeated um, by something that happened in this relationship, which caused them to feel like this wounded warrior. You see how distant they are? They're kind of like sitting by themselves. This is a fire sign card. It might be strong fire energy here. So you might be dealing with a fire sign. Um, so she's kind of like sitting at the top of this little, um, whatever you might call it. But she's sitting at the top of this castle looking thing. And she's just all alone, like a loner, like a lone wolf. Maybe some of you are alone at this time, being in hermit mode. Um, and then there's somebody here with this Page of Pentacles, Earth Sign card, that wants to talk. They want to get to know. They want to learn more. They want to try to figure out how they could fix the situation, is what I'm feeling. They're trying to figure out, how could we fix this? You know, that's why they're in hangman mode. Not necessarily meaning that they want to move forward, but they feel like they're... The relationship kind of has run its course, but they still want to be like, they still want to invest in you in some way. They either want to still be friends, be cordial, maybe you have, you know, your family likes each other. Um, you have kids together. Um, you've known each other for a long period of time. They still want to maintain some kind of communication, some kind of friendliness, some kind of like, you know, offer, even if it's not, you know, the full enchilada you know even if it's not you know marriage or anything like that um there's not a, a lot of emotions on this in this reading um we have the knight of cups energy
but it's very much strong pentacles. Like somebody is really focusing on their work, their stability at this time. That's their primary focus. Being single, um, getting stability with this king of pentacles. And they're very clear about what they want with this queen of swords, air energy. They're very clear. Somebody wants to move into karma waters. So that's the next card. So there's one of you who wants to move into karma waters. And then we have the four of wands, which speaks of a, of a commitment. So this looks like a broken commitment where one of you is deciding to part ways or both of you made a decision to part ways. But somebody is still a little bit more emotionally invested in this situation than you are. Whoever energy that is, I don't know. You take it for where it applies. Okay, so that looks like a relationship that went awry. Um, so let's do some dark confessions of the soul for you guys. For you Scorpios, okay? Dark confessions of the soul. Okay, I was going to show you. Yeah, dark confessions of the soul. Okay. For Scorpio singles and people in a love situation, Scorpios... What is it that their partner or potential love interest wants to tell them? What is it that Scorpios need to know in regards to love at this time? What is it that someone needs to say to them in regards to love at this time, Spirit? For Scorpios, what is it that they need to know? What are some hidden confessions that they need to know, Spirit? For singles and for people in a love situation. For people in a singles in love, what is that they need to know for Scorpios? What is it that they need to know for Scorpios? What do Scorpios need to know in, in regards to love at this time? Scorpios in a love situation, what is it that they need to know? Scorpios in a love situation, what is it that they need to know? Scorpios in a love situation, what is it that they need to know? One more card. Okay, got it. Okay, so I got four cards for you. You guys are getting extra attention today. Beautiful Scorpio people. I appreciate your compliments and your comments below. I do. Um, I feel cold and detached from this connection. I can't feel emotions right now. You see, that's why I didn't see a lot of cup energy, like the emotional part. It was a lot of stability energy, but not a lot of like emotional energy that I felt. So I feel cold and detached from this connection. I can't feel emotions right now. Apply to where it applies if it does. I knew I was losing you, but I didn't do anything to fight for you. So that's why the hangman and the chariot, you know, somebody surrendered to the situation, allowed you to move on with a the chariot. They didn't fight for it. Okay. You have become too difficult for me to handle. That's a big turn off. Excuse me. Okay. Excuse me. If that applies to any of you or if you think somebody might be thinking that, they could go F themselves, if you know what I mean. Okay. And I'm not in a good way. <laughs> I feel unbalanced and uneasy. I don't know what to do to fix it. You see, I told you, there's strong energy of somebody who wants to fix it, but they feel lost. They don't know what to do. They feel like you already walked out. You're already on your chariot. You're already on your horse. That's the fastest moving horse of the tarot, the chariot. You're already on your horse with that cancer energy. Out of here. You don't want to hear it no more. You're in your single energy. You're just like, nah, I'm done. Once a Scorpio makes up their mind about a situation, it's kind of hard to redeem yourself. But um, yeah, somebody's feeling like they don't know what to do to fix it. There's still somebody's energy that's tied to you. Whether it's been gone, this relationship has been done for a period of time now, the energy is still present, okay? So that's what I'm picking up on for some of you Scorpios. So I hope this reading helped. And if you would like to see more Scorpio readings in the future, please comment down below, like, and subscribe. Come on, guys. I need your assistance here, okay? I would love to do more Scorpio readings because I do love the energy around you, Scorpios, whenever I do your readings, okay? So have a beautiful day, everyone, and I will see you soon.